Welcome, everyone. Thank you for waiting. It's fantastic to be here tonight. Unfortunately, we are virtual tonight. We couldn't be in you and seeing you in person, but welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We have on the clock 140 people in the audience, which is fantastic. Um, <laughs> fantastic support. We did have a slight delay in starting this evening. Thank you for being very patient and staying online. Uh, we just had a slight technical difficulty and we have fixed that and we are ready to go. My name is Neil O'Donnell and I'll be your MC this evening. I would like to firstly acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land where I am today um, and where we're gathering for this event. We'd like to uh, welcome and pay my respects to the Gunjamara people and pay my respects to their elders, the past and the present, who are absolutely doing a fantastic job in our community, and of course, um, emerging leaders too, which is so incredibly important. It's great to see so many people. As I mentioned before, we've got 140 people connected with us tonight and supporting this incredible event, the event that we live in, and it's great to see so many people keen and excited and passionate about giving where we live. A huge thank you. I must pay a really big thank you to the team at United Way Glen Elk who have worked tirelessly for many months and especially the last two months to adapt this event so it could be done safely right from the comfort of your lounge room. So put your feet up, um, grab a drink, relax, put your head back on the pillow, put your hands into your pocket and be ready to give and make a difference in this community and change people's lives because that's what we're here for tonight. We are here to change people's lives. I would like to make a special welcome to AWA Alliance Bank. Um, welcome to them. I know there's people here from the bank here representing the organisation. Now, they are our matching partners for this event and we're very, very proud and very lucky to have them on board. Just fantastic to see them supporting the community. I'm going to talk about them very soon because they are being incredibly generous and we am going to talk about that very, very soon. Okay, just quickly, how the night works. Live crowdfunding is a form of collective giving uh, that involves people coming together in a united way to pull donations and resources through the leverage of the group. Participants can see how their donations can go much further. If we act in a united way, we can do incredible things. Tonight, you'll hear from three community organisations, and let me tell you, they're all very, very good stories and they're very emotional speakers. They're fantastic speakers. I hope you're really looking forward to it. They will share their stories with you about how their innovative programs are creating big changes in the community. Each is seeking your support for their vital work. The three pitches uh, have also been, also been coached tonight and uh, they, the coach has done an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, the coach is here tonight, so thanks. Uh, thanks for your support, Debbie Crespin. And uh, look, I know the speakers will do you very proud because you've trained them very, very well. So thanks, Debbie. Thank you very much for your support and thanks for volunteering your time. Uh, presenters will each speak for six minutes uh, during this time, uh, please, Use the chat box. So on your screen, I'm, depending on your screen setup, you will see on the right-hand side um, the, the chat box. And you can see there's already some fantastic comments coming through. I think, uh, Caroline Shepard, I did see your comments very early on. It was really nice to see your supportive messages. By all means, please keep those really positive and supportive messages coming through. So Nikki Edwards, everyone just see. Thanks, Deb, awesome work. It's nice to see people with those really positive messages. Please keep them coming through. Uh, we'll attempt to read out some of those as we're going through. Okay. Um, what we'll do, we'll have our, and you'll see on the screen, right down the bottom of your screen, you'll see a little uh, box that says, ask a question. If you do want to ask a question of the speakers, you can put your questions in there. Hold off your questions. We will have question time after each speaker, and we'll go through your questions then. You can also vote for your questions if you really like a question. So, uh, we hopefully we'll have time to read out all the questions, but we will see. Um, you'll notice I'm not wearing a mask tonight. Um, I'm doing that deliberately um, here in the room um, safely. Um, I am just doing that so that um, people, maybe hard of hearing, can see and hear exactly what I'm saying. 
And our speakers won't be wearing masks tonight, but we are doing that very safely. And we have checked with the Department of Health and Human Services that that is okay to do. All right, let's quickly meet our very first organisation. Leadership Great South Coast is a not-for-profit organisation that provides a leadership development and mentor program for emerging and aspiring leaders from across the Great South Coast. The annual program builds community leadership capacity across our region and supports the partners, partners, participants to deliver projects that have incredibly real benefit for our community. The Indigenous War Memorial Mural is just one of their 2020 projects. I'd like to welcome to the stage, or to the screen, I should say, I'm going to welcome Troy Lovett. Now, I know Troy, I've heard Troy's speech, and let me tell you, he is incredibly passionate and he's doing a fantastic job. So welcome, Troy. Thank you, Troy. Um, by all means, please, that comments box, um, please use that comment box, the chat box, to uh, add those positive comments to Troy because uh, we would love to see your praise. Troy, over to you. I know you'll do a great job, Troy. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> Thanks for that great introduction. Anyone who has been through my hometown of Haywood would know about the Haywood Water Tower. Maybe you haven't stopped and looked up at it, or you've just seen it in passing, or maybe like me, you've seen it thousands of times from almost every angle. Either way, it's a constant fixture in the Haywood skyline, and you can see it from practically anywhere in town. But I think it's a blank canvas waiting to be used. Sure, its size and location makes it stand out, but that's about it. Which made us think, how could we fully use, utilize its potential? What story could we be, could be told here that needs to be told to the world? We didn't have to search very far to find that story. It's the story of my great grandfather and his four brothers and their remarkable feat that saw their story being told through generations in my family, the region, and the country. Frederick Amos Lovett is a Kerip Jamara man from the Gunich Jamara Nation. He and his four brothers enlisted in World War I and returned safely, then enlisted again in World War II, returning safely as well. Serving a country who at the time didn't even consider Gunich Jamara people as citizens. It's hard to say exactly why they made this sacrifice, along with many other Aboriginal men and women, to serve the country at a tough time in history, at a time when they were already facing hardship and discrimination in everyday life, not to mention the dispossession and theft of their traditional homelands. We have heard stories, though, of a sense of belonging and treatment as equals while serving in the military, a feeling that was taken away from them so cruelly just a few generations prior. Some Aboriginal soldiers were even rewarded with a higher rank than their peers, like Uncle Reg Saunders, for example. A good, another Gunish Jamara man who served in the 40s and 50s and was named the first Aboriginal captain as a commissioned officer in the Australian Army. Sadly, this equality was not carried on when they returned home. They weren't even allowed to share a beer in the same pub with their digger mates after they shared the trenches with them overseas in the same uniform. It went further than just the pubs discriminating, though. The Soldier Settlement Scheme, which started in Victoria in 1917, saw over 2 million acres of mostly Crown land divided up into 8,000 farms. Despite over 1,000 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders serving in, in Australia in World War I, just two received soldier settlements in Victoria. Two Aboriginals, sorry, received soldier settlements in Victoria. The Lake Conda district, which is the traditional homelands of the Kerip Jamara people, was one of the areas divided up in southwest Victoria. Yet none of this land was awarded to any Gunish Jamara men or women. Which brings me back to the water tower. If the amazing stories that I've briefly highlighted here for you tonight are news to you, then you're the reason why we want to tell this story. We want these stories to be well known, 
not just by the families and friends, but by all who pass through Hayward. Maybe you're getting ready to go on a Bujbim tour. Maybe you're searching for the next stop after completing the Great Ocean Road or doing the Silo Arch Trail. These stories are amazing, and we believe they need, some, they need somewhere amazing to commemorate them. We also think the water tower is the perfect place to tell this story. Along with my team at Leadership Great South Coast, we plan to ins install landscaping, recognition signage, and a smoking bowl at the base of the tower to really transform this eye-catching landmark with some artwork and turn the whole area into a multi-use community space. The ongoing trauma and effects of what happened still affect the community today. And although we can't go back and change the past, we can start to move forward together, making positive steps towards reconciliation and recognition. Not only will the community have some, somewhere to come together, the project will also provide a significant economical benefit to the region, becoming an, an item on tourist to-do list in no time. The tower will not, only, will not only link in with the existing Silo Arch Trail, but also the Great South Coast Arch Trail with a high quality art piece on the Hayward Water Tower on display. Something for our next generation to look up to and be proud of. Something for our next generation to look up to and be inspired by. And something for our next generation to look up to and then tell those stories on to the generation after them. My team at Leadership Great South Coast and I have been working on this project for a number of months now and we're almost there. We've secured about 90% of our funding that we need to complete the project as it is. With an additional 8,000, we could see the mural completed as planned. But with your help and an additional nine to 10,000, we can take this project from a great looking mural to a memorial with a healing space and a reflection space for the local community. Further to that, if we achieve 10 to 12,000, we'll see the memorial and the healing space take on an educational role. Native flora and information could be installed, along with linkages and maps to other prominent tourist areas or cultural significant destinations. Being such a big project, it would be great if we were able to document the process along the way. I think it would make for an awesome digital story or documentary that we could show at our launch that we plan to hold when the project's complete in March 2021. So please join us in making this vision a reality. And together, let's put Hayward and our local Indigenous history on show. Thank you. Well done, Troy. That was absolutely fantastic. And Troy, I don't know if you can see the comments in the chat box, but there's some incredible supportive messages coming through, which are absolutely fantastic. I think I saw an early one from Di Birch. Thanks, Di. Good to see you out there. Di said, Troy, you've made a Hayward Secondary College I'm uh, very proud, and she's obviously very proud of you too, Troy. Um, some great, look, the messages are coming through too quick. I can't even read them and keep up, but um, people have said, thanks for telling the truth about this story. This is a great project. This is an all project. Well done, son, from Wendy. Love it. Uh, thank you, Tr Troy, for sharing. There's Michael Carr's out there saying, fantastic, Troy, well spoken. Um, Julie's out there, wow, great, Troy. There's just the comments, the positive comments are coming through. Troy, that was fantastic. You've got so many, so much support out there. It's so nice, so really good. I hope you get a chance to read back on some of these comments. Thanks for all your comments, guys. Okay, I'm going to open up to uh, the questions. Um, if you do have any questions, um, not in the comments, uh, in the chat box, but in the comments area, if you do want to ask a question, um, please, by all means. I think I'm just looking across my second screen here. Um, and I'm just looking for some questions. Troy, just while we're waiting for the other questions come through, I've just got a quick question for you. Um, Troy, can you tell us, um, what made you take this project on? Uh, I guess for me, um, my family's spoken about um, how we could best honour our relatives for a long time, um, kind of behind closed doors. So I guess when the opportunity came up uh, with Leadership Great South Coast, 
we um, talked about what our community project for the year might be at the start of the year. And when this opportunity came up to bring this idea to the team, I just thought it was a perfect fit. Um, the team was really behind it from the start and something that we thought we could really achieve and it would be uh, great for the community as well. So it's kind of those two things coming together, the support from the family and the community with the idea and then the support from the team as well maybe want to take it on and it's, thought it was something really achievable. It's great to see someone step up in our community to say, I'm going to, I'm going to got passion and I'm going to do this and make it happen. Um, Troy, you're an inspiration to so many people. You're an inspiration to me. Fantastic. Really, really good. Um, Troy, can you tell us uh, more about the mural and uh, who will be painting it? Uh, yeah, we've got a artist expression of interest process. So we're looking for an, a large scale mural artist with that large scale experience. We're also looking for a local indigenous artist. And those two will be working in tandem on the project with the large scale mural artist mentoring the local artist. Uh, so that expression of interest has been live for a month now. Um, we've, we've also got a community consultation process. Um, so we'll, we'll take when we get the artists sorted, we'll take that back to the community consultations as well, and they'll have the input with um, with the two artists to shape what the image looks like at the end. Um, so, yeah, we've got a bit of a process that we're working through, and, um, yeah, it should see a pretty good mural in the end. Yeah, I think we will. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. It's going to happen too. It um, sounds really exciting. Um, so, Troy, how can we find out more? Yeah, so if anyone wanted to come along to a community consultation process, we're holding them via Zoom. Um, they can get in contact with myself or anyone else in the team. We've got a bit of info on our website with Leadership Great South Coast, which is just lgsc.org.au, and you'll see more info in the projects tab um, if you want to find out a bit more through that. Fantastic, Troy. Thank you very much. I'm just checking uh, my little screen over here. Um, uh, I think we've uh, addressed that question. And someone has asked uh, from Roz Pevitt, uh, can we pledge after the event? Yes, you certainly can, Roz. Um, after the event, we'll be sending out emails and uh, you can pledge tonight if you want to in the chat box and when we uh, when we get to our pledging area, uh, pledging time. Um, but we can also, um, you can pledge afterwards as well. You can commit to the project. So we'll be sending out emails to everyone who's joined tonight and you'll have the opportunity to uh, to support this incredible project and support a man who's just stood up here given his heart and his soul and um it takes a bit of courage to stand up and do this um fantastic troy you spoke incredibly well really well done i wish we could give him a round of applause um but uh look uh thanks troy thank you very 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 much thanks neil thanks everyone what a great project and um gee we've got some great leaders in this community and he's doing a fantastic job Okay, um, we will have a chance to talk to Troy later on and we'll, uh, we'll open up the pledges later on after we've done our, our three pitches. There is also an opportunity for pro bono in-kind support and I'll talk more about that soon. Troy mentioned a couple of things they are going to need help with. So it's not just about the financial support. There are other ways you can support this really good project and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Okay, let's meet our second organisation, the Rotary Club of Portland. Strive to make the community a better place through practical efforts, through Rotary International that unites men and women from different backgrounds, cultures, religious and political beliefs across the world, allowing ordinary people to make a difference and be the inspiration to others, just like the people you're hearing tonight. Beat Cycle for Hope is just one of their community efforts. Please welcome Manny McAvall and Joe Pitts to the screen. And I think I'm going to have to hold myself and contain myself and not be emotional about this. I do have a connection with this project and I think it's a fantastic project, but all three projects tonight are um, sensational. So I'm just waiting for Joe and Manny to join us and then uh, we'll get along the, the way. I believe the project has been running for um, a couple of years now, I think um, six years, I think so seven years, and we've had incredible support in the project. Um, just quickly, while we're waiting for Mandy and, um, and Joe to join us, uh, I just want to quickly mention the AWA Alliance Bank and also Powerhouse Productions. The, the team from Powerhouse Productions doing an incredible job behind the camera 
Um, it's absolutely fantastic to have their voluntary support supporting this great community evening. Thank you to the guys and the team. Um, the video stories, which again Powerhouse Productions created, um, are available on the web. Um, just have a look for on YouTube, United Way Glenelg, and you should find those video stories. If you haven't seen them already, they are incredible. So by all means, have a look at those. Um, just remember, do when we do get the pledging, there's a couple of things I really want you to remember. All donations are tax deductible. So why give all your tax to the tax man and let him decide where your money is going to be spent? Decide tonight, I'm going to give my money to projects in this shire and make sure that the money, my taxes, can be spent in this shire. So we're about to join. We are, we've got Mandy and Joe on the screen. So welcome, Joe and Mandy. Fantastic to see you. And remember, guys, these guys are here giving with the heart and their passion and their soul and their voluntary time. So welcome, Joe and Mandy. I'll throw it all over to you. Good luck, guys. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. A fit, young, vibrant family full of hopes and dreams for their future and that of the three young children. That was my family at the turn of the millennium. My family. Until a cancer diagnosis caused us to reassess our plans and a diagnosis that would eventually rob us of our beloved husband and father. My husband Paul was a positive, fit, healthy, active man and was determined that cancer would not rob him and of hope or his positivity, that he could still make a difference to the world. My name is Mandy and I'm here to talk about Paul's passion and the legacy that he's left behind called Beat Cycle for Hope that combines his love for cycling and the desire to continue to grow and promote hope amongst cancer sufferers and those who care for them. In 2012, I met Mandy, Paul and their three young children in my role as a community palliative care nurse at Portland District Health. My name is Jo and I have supported Paul's legacy since its inception. In 2018 alone, around 95 people in the Glenelg Shire were given a new diagnosis of cancer, like Paul, and were confronted by a similar range of emotional and psychological challenges as their worlds were turned upside down. Beat Cycle for Hope, named in honour of my husband, aims to provide exactly that, hope and optimism, in a time that is fraught with doubt and insecurity. 2021 marks the 10th anniversary of Beat Cycle for Hope, so far, we've raised this year and don't, um, sorry, so far $100,000 has been raised and donated back to our local community to assist and support cancer. Prior to 2020, we raised only, uh, we raised, sorry, we raised around $12,000 per year, but due to COVID, we have only raised $2,000. Beat Cycle for Hope provides local cancer sufferers and their families with support through providing financial and other essential assistance. A cancer diagnosis confronts the patient, their families and carers with a realm of difficult issues that they must face. Some of these challenges include loss of family income for a prolonged period of time, time away from home and their support network during treatment, a huge disruption in family routine, a change in all the family roles, inclusion of new carers within the family, and this situation is often made more challenging for the family due to Portland's remote location. Paul's mission and legacy through Beat Cycle for Hope is to assist the cancer support services in Portland by raising much needed funds. He wanted to move beyond the medical support services and involve programs that target emotionally uplifting experiences for people. Some of those include the random act of kindness gift cards that we do for uh, $200. People can spend them where they like to. Gym memberships to improve the well-being and capacity of carers and their family through um, care of their body and their mind. And of course, being supported by the professionalism of PDH, palliative care. Also, we are a local community organisation made up of locals and supported by Rotary Club of Portland who understand the unique challenges of fighting cancer in our remote region. Our dream is to have the resources to support the 95 people that we have diagnosed in our region. Our services are provided regardless of financial status and age, as cancer doesn't discriminate and neither do we. 
We at Beat Cycle for Hope aim to provide every diagnosed local resident with a positive, unexpected gesture of kindness and compassion direct from our community. Not only do the random act of kindness gift cards financially assist those affected with cancer, they also benefit the community as they can be used locally. These small gestures of acknowledgement and consideration for people in the Glenelg Shire to recent cancer patients are an important source of hope and affirmation in an otherwise bleak and very uncertain period. Mm -hmm. Mandy's going to read a testimonial from a recipient of one of the Beat Cycle for Hope gift cards to show how effective this program is. Uh, your generosity and random act of <coughs> kindness meant the world to us during this very difficult time. From diagnosis to treatment has been a roller coaster of emotions, shock, stress, and numbness. Your act of generosity and kindness made our hearts smile and was sincerely appreciated. Like most organisations, we have been adversely affected by COVID restrictions this year and we are down on vital funds that allow us to continue to provide these services mm -hmm. to our local community. Mm -hmm. And so Beat Cycle for Hope is asking the community to continue to support Paul's legacy so that we can continue to provide for those like him that face the uncertainty of the cancer diagnosis. It is true that we are desperately needing your financial assistance but there's also other ways you could assist, uh, like donations for Islands for our annual trivia night that, of course, is being postponed to 2021 at the moment. Previous donated goods that were really appreciated were um, bikes, surfboards, meal vouchers, tugboat trips, charter boat trips, just to name a few, and also um, hampers, vouchers, discount cards, and accommodation from local businesses, a fantastic way to help whilst also still supporting the community because that goes back into them as well. If tonight we raise $6,000, this will allow us to reach out in a positive manner to 30 local patients. This is 30% of the families um, annually affected. But why stop there? If through your generosity, you could help to reach uh, us, help us to reach with $10,000, we could provide hope services and assistance for 50% of the families. But 15,000 is the magic number, and that would enable Beat Cycle for Hope to reach out, provide more support to the families and not struggle as much with um, our funding. So your support tonight will keep Paul's legacy alive and help other families just like mine when they are most vulnerable and in need. Thank you for tonight. Thank you. Well done, Mandy. Well done, Joe. Very well done. That was fantastic. Again, some great comments coming through in the chat box. Please don't be shy. Keep them coming through. I think uh, there's some uh, comments here. Well done, Mandy and Joe. A wonderful, generous project, which I'm sure many in our community appreciate. Um, let's uh, what Marg is saying. To us, let's do this. Let's give. Let's let's aim for. Uh, I won't say that money because I won't won't taboo that. I won't put so, but we'll see how many we go. We've got the the pledging coming up very soon. But such, such a great initiative. Some great comments coming through. So strong. Well done. Lots of great comments coming through. Thanks, guys. Did really really well. Um, just remember, people. There's uh, I'm sure there's someone you know who uh, has been affected by cancer. Please keep that in mind, and maybe you want to donate for them. Okay, I'm going to open up the questions um, and I'll get uh, just have a quick look to see what questions we've got come th coming through. I do have some questions which I, I'd like to ask, if you don't mind. Um, Joe or uh, Mandy, um, how do you distribute funds to families in the Glenelg Shire? Well, the palliative care, Joe will probably answer how she just does through the palliative care. So um, Mandy and Frank give the Beat Cycle for Hope Random Act of Kindness gift cards to myself. Um, so we have a register of cards that Mandy and Frank give us um, due to patient privacy and confidentiality. Obviously, I don't share the information of who the cards are given to, but we do keep um, a register and we report that back to Frank and Mandy. Um, so every new patient that comes to my community palliative care team or through the Cancer Support Service, they receive a gift card on admission um, to the value of $200. And um, sometimes patients actually will tell us that they've received one because Mandy donates those cards also through word of mouth. Um, so you, there is, you know, a variety of ways those cards are given out. 
And the way Beat Soccer for Hope does, like Joe said, it's um, word of mouth for us through Beat Soccer for Hope because we do the Privacy Act, we don't have that information. So if people just let us know um, privately and we just pop them in, uh, give them to the people. So that's, you know, a really lovely gesture. I'm, I know it touched our heart when one happened for us when our story was on. And the other way, we also have um, gym memberships. Also, we have um, Snap Fitness and the YMCA and there's fitness to get yourself back into health. Also for the kids, there's swimming options, um, gym, personal training, whatever, and those locations will tailor it to suit you because obviously you don't want to go and have those personal training straight away because you're going through treatment. So if you want to do it down the track after that or somebody else in the family wants to do it, we just they just tailor it how you would like it so um we can contact us for information on that and um how else do we deliver it yeah that's how we do it between us all it's really good some very nice comments coming through in the chat box um to uh, i've got i've got a hold of together here there's a really nice one from bailey Beatty. Um, <laughs> beyond proud of you mum you do so much for our family oh. and <laughs> <laughs> that's so very nice nice there's these are nice comments coming through to you i'm going to crack up here that's really really nice um, <laughs> beautifully done paula laley doyle says um well done catherine says there's some great comments coming in three please keep those comments come through thanks guys great job i'm going to move along if you don't mind list um i've got any more quest burning questions we will have a chance to talk to Joe and Manu. You've got a, a nervous wait now. They won't know what we're pledging and we'll bring you back later on and we'll let you know how we go tonight. We've got 155 people in the audience here, so we'll see how we go. Thanks, guys. You're doing really well. We've, uh, we're two, two down. We've got one more organisation to meet. So let's, without any delays, let's meet our final organisation. I met this guy for the first time yesterday and, boy, is he an inspiration. Um, Kaima Support Services provide a range of disability services to 160 people of all ages and many different needs. People access personal care, assistance with tasks of daily life, supported employment, which is just fantastic, social and community groups, overnight respite and support coordination, um, which is a case management style of assistance and so much more. Um, My Place Portland, is one of their many initiatives. Um, let's welcome Harley Duday to the uh, to the stage and to the screen. Boy, I'll tell you what, you can live in a community for uh, how many years have I been here? 30 odd years. And you think you've met uh, a lot of people, but I met Harley for this first time and I thought, boy, I really want to get to know and spend a bit more time with this guy because while he's got an incredible store personally, but he's not about himself, he's all about other people. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing him speak. But just while we're waiting for him to join, um, I do quickly want to talk to you about um, uh, that our Shark Pitch coach, Deb Crespin. I know she's honest. Deb, aren't they doing it? If you, I know we can't hear you, Deb, but I bet you're pretty proud. Um, the speakers are doing a fantastic job. And again, thank you, Deb, for all your help. And just to remind you that uh, after our pledging, everyone tonight, you'll be uh, given, uh, you'll be sent an email tomorrow. And when you receive your email, um, we'll have instructions on how you can um, pay the funds that you're pledging tonight. So uh, look forward to seeing your pledges on the screen. Harley, can you hear me there? I can. Fantastic. Great to see you, Harley. Really looking forward to this. Um, pretty emotional speaker, Harley. So, Harley, I'm going to throw it over to you. Let's uh, tell your great story. Thank you. Imagine that you are the parent and chief carer of a family member with complex special needs. You're getting older and you have good reason to be worried about your own health. Some of the things that might go through your head or be on your mind are where will my son or daughter live? Who do I trust to take care of them as well as I have? <clears throat> where do I even start to try and find the answers? This is a situation faced by many families in Portland and across Victoria. Sadly, there are no simple answers to these. In our town, there are parents who have said they're afraid to die until they know there is secure housing for their child. There are people 
whose retirement re involves a role of constant care. There are people who can't go on holiday as a couple. Wouldn't it be wonderful if there was sufficient accessible housing for people with complex special needs before they became desperate? Wouldn't it be nice for people with disabilities to move out and move in with friends and enjoy some of those life experiences that we all get to have? You've probably heard of the NDIS, the National Disability Insurance Scheme. You may even think that this has solved all the problems of access for people with disabilities. Well, the NDIS is great and it has helped out a lot of people, but it can't pay for all the housing that is needed. Only six out of 100 people, uh, out of 100 people will have their housing needs funded by the NDIS, which is why a lot of people stay living in their family homes well into their 30s, 40s and even their 50s. I think these people have the right to be able to relax and take it easy in a place that they can decorate, put their stamp on and call their own. Secure housing is critical to human happiness. In Victoria, thousands of people with disabilities don't have permanent and secure housing. At Kaima Services, we are trying to change this by taking one small step, building two new houses. These two houses will be located fairly centrally important. They will be built to a highly accessible design and the residents will have heaps of in-home support. These houses will become home to five new residents who will have a chance to gain independence and a permanent place to live. I'm passionate about accessible housing. I've used a wheelchair since a car accident when I was 17. I know how hard it is to get into and through most people's houses, whether it be steps at the front and back door, uneven ground, or thick spongy carpet throughout the house. The five people that we are providing a home for is just the tip of the iceberg. We've been approached by the families of 22 people with disabilities about housing in the Portland area, wondering what can be done about it. Specialist disability housing is very expensive and we don't have huge resources. Right now, we are concentrating on getting our current housing project established. That includes making not just houses, but homes. For that reason, we are coming to the community tonight to raise funds for just a small part of our overall project. This important part will provide an area where residents can relax and socialise. It will be a gazebo and a paved barbecue area with some seating. Tonight, we hope to raise $6,000 to help us create this outdoor gathering space. This would cover a gazebo and a good barbecue so that the residents from both the houses can come together and enjoy amazing barbecue nights with their family and friends. If we can secure $8,000, we will be able to cover some of the costs of paving. If we raised more than that and had some helpers, we could put a pretty big dent in the cost of landscaping and gardening both the properties. Your donations tonight could make a huge impact, not only in the lives of those desperate for a chance at independent living, but also in the lives of those that presently care for them. If you're looking for a community-focused way to help, we are also seeking in-kind support, assistance with aspects of Garden maintenance, plumbing, paving, and even electrical would be much appreciated. Any offers can help, any at all. Maybe there is a chef that would like to come out and help us uh, cook something really nice for our opening night, opening celebrations. Thank you for helping us change the lives of five Portlanders who aspire to a more independent life Thank you for caring about vulnerable people in our community.
Yeah. Harley, incredibly well done. Some great comments again coming through. I saw something from Paige England coming through. Sounds great. You know, I agree with you there, Paige. Um, Michael Carr. Hey, thanks, mate. You're uh, you're saying book him up, Harley. He's uh, he's ready to come in and help. So that's uh, it's nice to see. We're not just thinking about those. Uh, as Harley mentioned, just the, the financial things we're about to pledge, and it's coming up very soon, um, but also the uh, the pro bono in-kind support ideas, which they need so much more. So we need a barbecue, Harley, as well. So if anyone wants to donate it, a fantastic barbecue, or even uh, someone who's really good at barbecuing, you know, all those ideas would be great to get your help. So let's... Um, Let's open up the questions. Uh, I can see we do have a couple of questions coming through, I believe. Um, we'll just wind those. But to Harley, I've got, I've got a couple of questions here, some I've prepared earlier. Um, so, well, Harley, <laughs> are, you going, are there going to be more houses in the future? Well, that's the idea. Um, we at Kaima, as most organisations, have a board of management that oversees everything related to Kaima and, you know, its best interests. Um, and we've already spoken to them about the chances of doing more houses, building more houses, um, and providing that this one is sustainable um, and works well uh, and whatnot, we can well and truly uh, think about more houses. And we'd absolutely love to get to a point where, you know, we don't have to worry about uh, the housing problems because we have enough houses for everyone yeah fantastic that wouldn't that be a great thing that'd be fantastic um so the whole project Cully, though what what's the whole project going to cost the whole project at the moment is around about 1.54 million dollars so but tonight we are asking for just sort of trying to get the gathering space worked out and they're the funds that we're asking for tonight um and yeah so if we could get you know, six to eight thousand dollars. It would be unbelievable because it's just uh, a small gathering area for uh, the overall project. Yeah, and wouldn't it be great to uh, look to help everyone out there listening? We've got one hundred and fifty nine people listening tonight. Wouldn't it be great to help Harley out and and the team out of Kaima Services a little bit more? And uh, let's see how we go tonight, Harley. I'm really looking forward to seeing this, Harley. Just um, I've got one last question. Um, do all people with disabilities need these special expensive houses? Simply, no. Not all people need, not all people with disabilities need the very expensive houses. Um, people with disabilities are no different to everyone else. Everyone is completely different. Uh, and you just sort of, we wait and see what they need. Not everyone needs wheelchair access and, you know, doors that are wide, wider and stuff like that. Um, some of the some of the residents we work with at the moment only need a couple of hours a day support. So we go out and we see them and we take them shopping, um, doctor's appointments, all sorts of little bits and pieces like that. But no, essentially not, not all people with disabilities need these sorts of houses. These are the ones that mainly need a lot of care and a lot of um, workers and whatnot around them all the time just to make sure that everything goes nice and smoothly. Yeah, great, Harley. Fantastic. Um, I do, uh, I know we can't give a round of applause, but thanks, Deb, Marg, Ada, and Troy, and Troy Lovett, Paige England. They've all got the, the hands and the uh, applauding you, Troy, um, Harley. That was, oh, that was fantastic, mate. Well done. Such a, such a passionate guy. I, I'll tell you what, um, I, sign me up because I want to help. Um, I really want to help. So thank you very, very much. Well done. Spoke really well. Really, really well. Well done. Great job. Thank you. Okay. We'll, we'll bring Harley back later on. But now we're at the exciting part of the evening. Now it's over to you. Now it's your turn. What I'm going to do be doing next, let me just explain the process and how the pledging works. We've heard three amazing stories. Um, so... What we'll do, we'll go through one at a time, one project at a time. We'll seek your pledges for each program. Um, pledging will be conducted in the same order as the presenters. So we'll, we'll talk about the first program from uh, Leadership Great Southwest first, 
and the, the mural project first, and then we'll talk about Beat Cycle for Hope and we'll talk about Coima Services. Um, you can either wait for your preferred project to donate um, or, look, why not just donate to all three? Um, we will do this in two rounds. So we'll uh, we'll do round one for each organisation then we'll come back for a second round. So, hey, um, you know, at the end of the round one, you may, if you've missed out on first round, there will be an opportunity to donate in a second round. Now, I'll try to read out your pledges as you put them into the chat box. Um, but please, if I don't get around to reading all of them, I'm sure there's going to be lots and lots and lots. Um, I may not be able to read them all out, but by all means, we'll have them. Uh, don't worry, have no fear. They'll be on the chat box as a record um, and uh, we'll, we'll have them all there. So we will collect all of your donations and all of your pledges. So they will be there. And everyone else will be able to see your pledge as well. Now, so I've got some good news. I've been really, I couldn't wait to announce this one. I spoke before about AWA Alliance Bank. Now, here's some great news. When you, when you make a pledge, AWA Alliance Bank will match your pledge up to $4,000. So thank you, AWA Alliance Bank. So just remember, if you give $50, uh, AWA Alliance will match it and put in another $50. So give generously because they're going to double it up. So whatever you donate will be doubled. Remember, all of your pledges are tax deductible. Um, and also, if you do want to make a private donation, um, you can also do that tomorrow. We'll, we'll be sending emails out to everyone who's signed up tonight and you'll be able to make a donation privately or anonymously tomorrow if you want to. There will be a link on how you can pay in your email tomorrow. So look out for that. All right, so let's open it up. Hope you're all ready. I know you've got money burning in your pockets. I'm going to open it up. Now, we're going to be opening up, first of all, for pledging Leadership Great South Coast Indigenous War Memorial Project. The amounts that you want to donate or what, whatever you want to donate. So last year when we ran this uh, fantastic project, we had a minimum of $50. We've decided in a united way, donate whatever you can and whatever you want. So we'll be accepting donations of anything. You'll see on your screen right now, you can see a little uh, a white screen. Your pledges, we'll be adding up the pledges and they'll be going on screen. We'll have a little collective or a bar that'll go up towards the ceiling. It'll raise and raise and raise, just like uh, liquid in a jar. And let's let's uh, make it spill all over. Let's hit the sky. Okay, so it's over to you. If, can I please open it up, put your pledges in the chat box, put your name and your amount or your organisation, put it into the chat box and hopefully I will, uh, we can reach the sky. So would anyone else, would anyone like to help and up? Let's go. Let's open up the pledges. Is anyone out there? <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Peter Heyman, thank you very much. I've got $50 from Sharon and Peter Heyman. I've got Flash is out there. Good to see you, Flash. And Helen as well. $100 from Halliday's. Fantastic, guys. Thank you very much. They're a great organisation in town. United Way Glenelg, $1,000. Boom. Fantastic. It's a great link. The graph's going well. The green graph is moving up, doing really, really well. It's sounding like a racehorse calling out. $50 on behalf of Bayview College. Thanks, Riley. Um, $200. Caroline, Sam and Oscar Shepherd. Thanks, guys. Fantastic to have your support tonight. And really nice to see your uh, really generous and emotional comments. $50 from Pip. Thank you very much, Pippa. Um, Andre Barr. Um, $250, that's a fantastic donation. Fantastic for leadership, great South Coast. Fantastic. Keep them coming in, guys. They're coming in strong. Linda Cooper, nice to see you out there. Linda, $150 from the Cooper family. Thanks. Thank you very much. Charlie and Linda, thank you very much. Jacinta and Douglas Brown have donated $100. United Way, Glenelg, another $600. Keep coming in. Jane Rudge, Jane Rudge, so thank good to see you out there. Fifty dollars, Graham and Alicia, fifty dollars. Um, oh, they're coming in quick now. Frank and Liz Farnsworth, big supporters of United Way, fifty dollars. Thank you very much. Bev McElroy, uh, wow, well, doesn't she do a great job in the community? Two hundred eighty dollars from the Rotary Club, Portland Bay. It's great to see that club supporting this this today. Fantastic. Tammy Whitehead, fifty dollars. Thank you very very much. Um, $200 from Greg, Jake and Emily Amor. Great family. Uh, great family. So uh, doing some fantastic. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, family. Thank you very, very much. $10 from Britt, Gracie and Tommy Walter. I love seeing those really small, don't they? They get me excited. Those, anything you can give, 
Um, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, Shep. That's uh, fantastic. $50 from Gary and Rose Johns. Great to see you out there, Rose. Great, fantastic. Penelope Becker, $30. Well done. Kay O'Brien, Kay and Tim, good to see you out there. $50. Thank you very much. $150 from Campbell and Fraser Reefman. Hey, guys. Uh, thank you very, very much. That's great to see you there. Um, Steve, $150. Well done. Yeah, thanks. Deb and Ash, $50. $50 from Peter and Michelle Simons. Boy, this is the coming in fist, thick and fast. Paige, thank you very much. Paige England, $100. Um, Ada Anderson, $100. Wow, that's great, guys. Incredibly generous donations. And just remember, I want you to remember Troy. I want you to remember Troy and how he spoke of his passion and spoke from his heart. And what a great project this one. This is where inspiring and motivating your donations are really going to support the leaders of this community. Bev McElroy, hey, you already donated, Bev, but hey, fantastic. $200 from the McElroy family. That is fantastic, Bev. Uh, Wadia Works Portland. Now, this is nice. Great to see Wadia Works Portland uh, supporting the community, giving back. I would like to donate $200 to each of the projects. So, uh, Cara, Cara is helping us. Cara King's helping us out, by the way. Fantastic. Michael Carr and Carly, and Carly fantastic, giving $50. And I know, uh, good to see your comments too before. Mika Carr, fantastic, very much. Thank you very, very much. Um, Emily, thanks for your uh, Manjo Kumar, $50. Thank you very much. If I've missed your comments and missed your donations, um, look, I'm, I'm sorry they've come through so far, so so fast. We're up to $9,960 so far. Um, that is absolutely fantastic, going really well. And we've just clicked over $100 from the Doyle family. So Paula Layla Doyle, thank you very much, which is just clicked over $10,060. That is incredible. And uh, Michael Carr has just announced um, that the Port of Portland, isn't this fantastic? And these are great organisations who have just donated $1,000 to this project in Hayward. That is fantastic. Thanks, uh, Mickey Carr. Thanks for don donation to the Port of Portland. $250 to Kaima from uh, Dion and Shelley Burke. Uh, so just remember, we, we, at the moment, we're just pledging for Leadership Great South Coast. We'll just try and just keep them all in one spot. You will have a chance to, to bid for those other projects later on. So just hold off your bids on the other projects for the moment. Um, uh, Quinn Van Smale, a, <laughs> a tired three-year-old would like to pledge her pocket money of oh, $4 to the silo painting. That is so nice. Someone is going to give like that is fantastic. Marg's giving a round of applause to that one because that was absolutely fantastic. Love to see those donations. Okay, we're up to $11,064. Remember, this is round one. Looks like um, we've got a little uh, hold on things, so I might call it closed to round one on this one. Unless anyone wants to give any final donations in round one, we will come back, so you will have another chance. Okay. Okay, so we've got Mary, uh, um, so we've got the total figure on the screen. You can see so far, round one, we will come back again for Leadership Great South Coast. We've had a pledge of $11,064. That is fantastic. That's probably exceeded my expectation. That's, but uh, I'm wondering how much more we will give in round two. So, look, thank you very, very much. I'm going to move on. I've closed that one. We will come back. You will have another chance. And thanks for everyone. Remember, if you do want to donate privately, you can do so tomorrow when we send the emails out. Okay. Well done, guys. That was fantastic. And I think uh, testament to Troy's great speech. I'm going to open up the, the pledging and the bidding uh, for Rotary Club of Portland Beats Cycle for Hope, who are changing people's lives and giving people hope and support in some of the most incredibly difficult times in their lives. So please give generously um, and we're going to open up. So I'm going to open up with uh, Jen Risk, uh, $50 to Beat Cycle, I hope. Thanks, Jen. Uh, Nikki Edwards, uh, let's see what we can do for Beat Cycle, I hope. Um, when we have closed the bidding and now we're under the Beat Cycle for Hope project, uh, the Rotary Club of Portland. So we're up to $300 so far. Karen Merrick, thanks, Karen. $100, great to see you out there. Pete McAvell, hey, Pete, $100, thank you very much. Leela Edwards, 
$50 on behalf of Baby College. Great to see the schools getting behind the project. Thank you very, very much. Tracy Jensen, nice to see you out there, Tracy. $100 from Tracy and Eric. G'day, Derek. Good to see you out there. Um, does a great, great bloke, Eric. Bailey Beatty, $50. Bailey, Jade, and Zahn Beatty. Thanks, guys, with uh, much love in, uh, on that one. Thank you very, very much. Um, Tiana Richardson, uh, Live for Life Glenelg, would like to pledge five volunteers to support the Beat Cycle for Hope event in 2021. Fantastic. We'll keep a note of that one. That's great stuff. $100 Flash and Helen Welfare, $150 from Halliday's Butchers. Please buy your meat from there because they're supporting us. United Way Glenelg have chimed in with one thousand dollars that was one thousand dollars so thank you very much Ann Kirkham for announcing that um Jen Risk <laughs> uh, has donated one hundred and fifty dollars uh Liz Farnsworth three hundred dollars from Frank and Liz Farnsworth thank you very very much Diane Graham Birch I knew you'd give generously one hundred dollars thank you very very much fifty dollars from Meg and Jack Jarrett thank hey guys nice to see you out there thank you very much Pippa Donated to the last project and has donated another $50. Thank you very, very much. Um, hey, hey, grats, this one. Barlu Portland from George um, <laughs> Kozarensky. I hope I've pronounced that some way. Apologies if I hasn't. From Barlu Portland, $300. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much for supporting the community. Kay, uh, Kay and Tim O'Brien. Thanks, guys. $50. Cindy Purcell. Isn't this great seeing all these donations coming through? Isn't it great knowing that Beat Cycle, I hope, just do a fantastic job in the community? There is an uh, anonymous donation of $100. There's uh, Carolyn Shepherd, uh, $300. Fantastic. Tiana Richardson, thank you, $20. Uh, Paula Laley Doyle, the Doyle family, $100. Hey, great, fantastic. Thank you very much. And Kathy Bolden, yeah, it is a wonderful cause, Kathy. Great comment. Fifty dollars from Kathy and Reg. Thank you very, very much. And not only is uh, Deb, Deb Crespin uh, uh, giving her time and coaching the people, but she's also donating one hundred dollars herself. So yeah, thanks, Deb. Fantastic. Hey, Gab McMeekin. Lovely to see you out there, Gab. One hundred dollars. Hi, Gab. Frank Farnsworth has just announced that Seaview Real Estate. Fantastic to see the guys chiming in, $100. And Ada Anderson, $100. And uh, Shep Kath Walder has uh, another $10 from Britt, Grace and Tom Water. I love the small ones. Please keep the small ones coming through because I love reading those ones out. Um, Michael Carr, hey, this is another great announcement. Port of Portland, really supportive. The Port of Portland have donated $500 to the Beat Cycle for Hope project. Thanks, Mika. That's fantastic. See you supporting people in the community. Um, Gary and Rose Johns, hey, great, $100. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Sharon Atkinson from United Way Glenelg has just announced that they've uh, donated $600 from United Way Glenelg. Thank you very much. We're going well. The total's 10360 Just a testament to how good uh, the speech was from Joe and Mandy. Um, We've got uh, Michelle Kearney uh, matching the Bayview students. Oh, now we've got a bit of competition going on here. So Michelle Kearney has matched the students' pledge of $100. Well done. Well done. That's fantastic. Tammy Whitehead, $50. Thank you very much. And uh, and Lily Irwin Davy wants to give their savings in honour of Aunt Ranch. Ranch, Ranch, I hope I'm saying that right, of oh, $50. That's incredibly nice. You know, as I said before, we all know someone who's been touched by cancer, so um, please, please uh, give generously. Rowena Wiley, $30. Going really well, guys. We have a total of 10590 remembering that AWA Alliance Bank have matched our donations up to $4,000. How great is that? Um, Rowena Wiley, $30. Deb Saunders. Uh, an emotional one. We've got $50 in memory of Evie. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, Deb. That's really nice. And uh, Emily Amor, $100 from Amor's Plumbing. Isn't it great to see businesses giving back to the community? It's really nice to see. Waddy, uh, hey, mate, uh, $100. Thanks, mate. Thank you very, very much. $50 from Michael and Carly Carr. It looks like I think Michael and Carly have been supporting every project so far. Thank you very much. And uh Katie Pitts has donated $20 um, to Mum and Mandy. Fantastic, Katie. That's so nice. 
Jacinta, $100 from uh, the Douglas and Jacinta Brown. Um, the amount dropped off in my previous typing. Okay, thanks. So hopefully we'll fix that one up. Angela McFeeders, $20 for me. Thanks, Angela. Great to see you out there. Lisa Munn, $50 from the Munn family. So uh, fantastic, guys. We're up to $11,060. That is incredible. Everyone getting together. And we only need to donate just a little bit. And we see the community gets behind this and we make a big difference. So please give generously just a little bit. Even if it's $1 a week, just that cup of coffee. If you can donate that cup of coffee, uh, will make a difference. Lisa Munn, $50 from the Munn family. Nice to see you out there, guys. Thank you very, very much. Okay, looks like the pledging is dried up for the moment. Remember, we are going to come back for round two. You will have another chance. So I'll close this one off now, but remember, we will come back again soon. All right, I'm going to move on to our third project. Well done, guys. That's fantastic. I think we might have a little bit more to give on that one. We'll see how we go when we come back to round two. All right, I'm going to close off the pledging for Beat Cycle for Hope, and we're going to open up the pledging for Kaima Support Services, My Place, Portland. Remember Harley? Remember Harley, how he spoke, and he spoke from the heart? Well, <laughs> this guy's an incredible guy. He is an inspiration. If you need some inspiration to give into deep into your pockets and give, please remember how Harley spoke um, because he, he's an incredible person. He's doing some incredible things. Um, please uh, give generously. Okay. So Michael Carr, we're going to open the bidding. And uh, I'm not sure, Michael, if uh, you can let us know. You've said that, sorry, not there's another $400 from the Port of Portland. Um, hopefully, Michael, that's for... Uh, uh, the uh, Kaima project, Michael, we'll, we'll put it towards Kaima for the moment, but let us know that's any differently. Okay. So we're on to the barbecue area now and my place, uh, and we're opening the bidding, and we've got $400 from the Port of Portland that have opened up the bidding. Thanks, Mika. I hope that's what you wanted. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't, then we can uh, we can fix it up later on. Okay. Karen Merrick. Nice, Karen. Very nice. $50. Hey, Michelle Simons, great to see you out there. $200 from the Simons, from Pete and um, and Michelle. Thank you very, very much. Jacinta, uh, Douglas and Jacinta Brown, $100. Thanks, guys. Barb and Tony South, nice to see you out there, guys. Um, $200, fantastic donation. Linda, Linda Smith, oh, they're coming through thick and fast very quickly now. Linda Smith, $100. I'm going to leave this quick. Um, and Mika Carr is, was saying that donation for $400 for the Beat Cycle for Hope. Um, so, Cara, I'm not sure how we can fix that one up, but we might have to fix up later on. Okay, Pippa, uh, $100 from Pip. Uh, uh, Cheryl, Cheryl Duday from the Duday family, $500. How nice is that? Fanta, the Rotary Club of Porton, $440. Deb and Ash, nice to see the donation, $50 coming through. Um, Taylor Wakely, nice, $30. Sammy Bannum and Taylor Wakely, nice, guys. Thank you very, very, very much. Erin Baker, not, Barker, sorry. Erin, nice to see you there. Hello, Erin. $50. Tiana Richardson, $20 from Tiana Richardson and the family. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Richo. I hope he's, Tiana, make sure Richo is giving as well. Um, Ada Anderson, $100 will help with the cooking for the celebration. Nice. Very, very nice. United Way Glenelg. Rowan's just announced they're going to have announced $1,000. Uh, and Liz and Frank Farnsworth, $50. Thank you very, very much. $500 from Rhonda Sutton. That's incredibly generous. Uh, thank you very, very much. Graham and Alicia, $100. Jane, Ruji, $50. Sensational. $20 from uh, Jamara. Is that, I hope that's, I hope I've uh, pronounced that correctly. Uh, Emily Amor, $500 from Amor's Plumbing and Labor for the Pagola Roof. Hey, and they're also donating Labor for the Pagola Roof. So, Hey, thank you very much from Amor's Plumbing. That's very generous. Fantastic. Um, Megan Jarrett, $50 from Be Seated. Hey, another organisation. If you need some, uh, great to see these organisations giving about the community. Please support these organisations like Be, like Be Seated. Um, it's really generous and really great to see them giving back to the community. Tammy Whitehead, um, and really good discounted price for the timber from Whitehead's Timber Sale. Hey, that, now we're talking. That's what we want to hear. Fantastic, guys. Thank you very much. $50 on behalf of Bayview College. Um, Kaima, $150. Well done. I'm sure you'll be giving a lot more too. I'm sure. Fantastic, Steve. Uh, Owen Jordan, $100 from Owen Jordan. 
Uh, Penelope Becker, $30 from Penelope. Well done. $600 from United Way Glenelg. These donations are fantastic, guys. Keep them coming. We're up to $10,650. And what a difference you will make. If uh, any little dollar you can give will make a huge difference. Mary Irwin, $600 from United Way Glenelg. $200 from Simon and Natalie. Chris, thank you very much. And this is nice again. Barlu Portland, if you want a coffee, call into Barlu because there's an organ other organisation supporting the community. Thanks, uh, $300 from George from Barlu. Thank you very, very much. The Doyle family, who have been incredibly generous tonight, $100 from the Doyle family. Michael Carr, who's donated to every project, $50, Michael and Carly, uh, plus a day's labour doing anything. Is that anything, Mika? Mika, you said anything. I'm going to hold you to that. Remember, I'm going to tell Harley, you said anything on you. We've got it typed in, so that's great. Thanks, Mika. Um, Kath Shep Walder, $10 from the kids again, <laughs> but they're moving on to bedtime now. Uh, Kathy Baldwin, $250. Kathy and Reg, fantastic. Thank you very much. Rowan, um, I am losing my voice. Thank you very much. Take a drink. You'll lose your voice announcing all those wonderful pledges. It is pretty good. Um, <laughs> Frank's saying I can swim underwater, but uh, I'm not too sure about that, Frank. Uh, yeah, Glenn Kane says I'm not swimming very well at the moment. I hope Glenn's out there tonight. $100 from uh, the Shepherd family, really, really nice. Thanks, Caroline. Um, and also they're saying they'd love to help with the barbecue opening night too, so great. Uh, Shep is saying, uh, Catherine Old is saying that the Live for Life Glenelg would like to provide in-kind support for the landscaping crew or catering crew, whichever is needed more. Hey, let's go both, Shep. That'd be uh, that'd be fantastic. I think you're both needed. Uh, Waddy, great stuff. $50. Thank you very, very much. And uh, Michelle, had, uh, hey, the students from Bayview, I think Michelle Kearney's matching all of your donations. So let's see if you can get some more money out of the principal's uh, pocket. Let's donate some more. So great to see that. Thanks, Michelle. And thanks from the students of Bayview uh, College as well. Really nice. That's fifty dollars, um, and also a volunteer. Hey, is it so nice that people say they're going to volunteer for this project as well? Wow, AWA Alliance Bank, a great comment there. How good is Portland? How good is the people in uh, the people in Glenelg Shire and everyone around the, the who's supporting us tonight? Coming together and making a difference where we live. Give where you live. All the money, one hundred percent. 100%, every cent that is pledged tonight of all the money we collect tonight goes to those organisations. Um, so 100% goes directly to the organisations. So please remember, uh, give generously. Deb saying that Ash is donating a day's labour. That's fantastic. Michael Carr, hey, this is the third time now. Port of Portland has uh, supported projects. They've come in with or maybe it's even more than three, Michael Carr. $1,100 from the Port of Portland towards Kaima Support Service. That's so nice, really, really nice. Izzy Bennett, $100. And uh, Penelope Becker is saying, I agree, Southwest, including all communities, you are fabulous with this support. Thanks, uh, Penelope. Uh, yeah, it is great to see all these donations coming through. And uh, remember, um, Deb and Mark Crespin, uh, g'day, Mark, hope you are out there listening, um, have donated $100. Wow, twelve thousand two hundred dollars. How incredible! How incredible! Thanks. Why would you want to live anywhere else? What a shire! What a place to live! I'm not just talking about the Glenelg Shire too, but just this whole end southwest area of Victoria. Just some incredible people in this area. What a fantastic effort, um, Andrea. Thank you. Thirty dollars from Andrea and Paul. All right, I think the donations might have just dried up there for round one. Wow, that's incredible. That is fantastic, guys. Um, really, really good. I just need to, um, I might just get, uh, if I can get someone to grab me a glass of water, that'd be fantastic because uh, my, my voice is drying up. Those donations were great. And how great, yeah, Helen Welfare, I agree with that. Great love for the community. Uh, isn't it fantastic? Okay. Guys, we're just going to take a little break um, just to stretch the vocal cords and um, we are going to open up for round two. So if you missed out 
on uh, round one. We're going to reopen. I think. So if I can get Cara, Cara's um, helping us out here. Um, hopefully on your screen right now, you can see the three totals for the three organisations and how incredible is that. We've got so far Leadership Great South Coast, uh, $11,064. And we've got Rotary Club of Portland, $11,480. And Kaima Support Service, $12,230. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Isn't it good that we can come together as a community and give where we live tax-deductible donations and make a difference in the community? Your donations are changing people's lives. We are going to make a real difference tonight. This is amazing. How incredible this total of $34,774 so far. All right. Can we give any more? I think there's still a little white space. I don't know, I can't, I'm going to try and point to the screen. All that white space there, we've got to try and fill that white space, guys. Let's see if we can, uh, we, we can go any more. We're going to go to round two. I'm going to open up. So, Carl, we're going to go to Leadership Great South Coast, the green uh, bar, I think. We're going to open up for round two. Let's see how we go. Are there any more donations for round two? So anyone that remember that remember Troy remember Troy the way he spoke and his passion um, we we spoke about the truth and telling the truth I think this is going to be just a great visual um, has a great in, a visual impact in our community because people will look to the water tower and see the truth I think it's a great story that needs to be told and of their, and their incredible sacrifice um, it's a fantastic project and thank you Blake Corbett so Blake Corbett's opened that up with one hundred dollars from the powerhouse team. Let me tell you, they do a great job at Powerhouse. Um, they, oh, they're the people behind the camera tonight, so thank you very, very much. Now, not only giving of their time, all their equipment, um, but also donating financially. Thank you very much. Peter Heyman, thank you very much from uh, the Heyman family. Uh, Peter and Sharon, $50. Thank you. And Nikki Edwards, the Edwards family, $50. Thank you. Jen Risk, uh, thank you very, very much, Jen, $50. Um, fantastic, Jen. Sharon Atkinson, $30 uh, from Sharon and Mika Atkinson. Thank you very much. Helen Welfare has been, Halliday's uh, butchers have been incredibly generous and then they've, they've dug into their pockets and $50 again. Thank you very much. And I'm going to hit you up, Flash. I'm going to hit you up. When the, we have the first barbecue at uh, Coima Supports. We're going to hit you up later on. I'm going to talk about that later on when we get there. $100 from Ann Kirkham for Leadership Great South Coast. Thank you very much. Uh, Marg Wagner, $100 from me. Well done. Um, yeah, proud United Way Glenelg president. Fantastic, Mark. And you should be proud. This is going well. We're not finished yet. We're up to $12,244 for a Leadership Great South Coast. Remember that not just the project in the water tower, but they're inspiring and encouraging leaders of the future. Pippa, Pippa, thank you very much, $50. Just sent another $50. And Nicole Carr has told me that Yumba Agriculture uh, have donated $500. Thank you very, very much from Yumba. Uh, fantastic from Tim and Emma Raj. Fantastic, guys. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Les... Les has told us $50 from Michelle and Les Horovich. Thank you very much, guys. Very, very generous. We're up to $12,294. Is there anyone out there who can take us above that? Let's go to 13. Can we get there to 13? I'm sure we can. Let's go, let's go to 13. Let's change that number. Let's get rid of 12. Michelle has just put a challenge out there. Michelle is going to say that she will double any donation from Bayview students in any of the second round. So as any students... We'll just put the school name up there when you donate and we'll get uh, Michelle Kearney. Now, Peter Heyman, you're not from Bayview College because you can't say you're a student from Bayview College. I think that Michelle will see right through that. But Michelle will double. Any, so any students out there who are listening, please, any $1, $2, $5, anything you can give. We've cracked the 13000 now. United Way Glenelg has just donated $1,000. Thanks, Nicole, for letting us know about that. That's fantastic. Um, and Caroline Shepherd, 
uh, we'll be so proud to look up and see that tower when it's finished. It will be spectacular. It will be incredible. And there's another $100. Uh, now, Mickey Carr is saying, what about ex-students, Michelle? Would you match uh, an ex-students donation? Um, Julie, it is exciting. This is fantastic. And I think we may have exceeded Troy's expectations, but let's, I'm looking forward to seeing him out there. But, uh, guys, we've got to... Adele, $40 from the Curran family. Great, guys. Thanks, Adele Curran. Thanks, guys. And thanks, uh, Shannon. Great to see you uh, supporting this fantastic event. Thanks, guys. Leela Edwards, $25 from Leela Edwards. And Leela is a student of Bayview College, Michelle. So looking forward to your contribution in the chat box, Michelle. Leela Edwards just donated $25. Excuse me, I just needed that quick drink. Um, so, Michelle, still waiting for you. We've got $25 from Leela Edwards, a student of Bayview College. If you're still there, Michelle, hope you haven't hung up and disconnected. Uh, hope your internet's still connected, still. There we are. Michelle's just doubled that $25. Thank you very, very much. True to your word. Absolutely. Thank you very, very much. How are we going, guys? Are we close to the end? This is going to be your last chance. I'm going to open this one last minute. One last minute, last chance to donate to Leadership Great South Coast, $13,484. Is there anyone else who would like to donate? It's incredible effort. It is incredible. I'm really looking forward to seeing this mural and that water, that water tower. It is going to be fantastic. All right, guys, I'm going to close it now. I'm going to close it very soon. Any last donations out there? Okay, righto. <laughs> Mark's just saying, can we take it to $15,000? All right, Riley Gallagher, here we go. Let's go, rapid fire. Who's got some money out there? Riley Gallagher, $75 from Bayview College. I think that's a, uh, might have to match that donation, Michelle. Boy, oh boy, is that is Riley Gallagher a current student? I'm not too sure. Michelle, Yoni, you can tell us that. Riley is, I'm hearing that Riley is. Um, and Ada Anderson saying this will be such an amazing educational platform, wow, for our young students to explore and learn about the history when it is completed. Remember, we're going to make a video story. So I'm just thinking about the, the young people this is going to inspire, we're talking about this project and the creation of this project as the mural has been painted. And I think we can get Troy out there speaking and we can record the story. It's going to be fantastic. And Michelle's saying, thanks, Michelle. She's uh, matched that $75 from Riley Gallagher. So well done. We're up to $13,634. Okay. I think we might be all finished. Are we all done? No, great. Bev McElroy, Layla Cook, <laughs> Bayview College, one hundred dollars that's incredibly generous tell you what baby college haven't they been so incredibly supportive what about the hayward secondary college students out there <laughs> michelle's going broke <laughs> but done she's matched that 100 dollars. so michelle's matched that thank you very much such incredible generosity michelle thank you very much that's fantastic we're up to thirteen thousand eight hundred and thirty four dollars and tammy thank you um, she will do another $50 for the mural. It's, it is a great idea, Tammy. Great. Thank you very much. Have we got any more? Is there any more out there? $13,884. Remember, you will have an opportunity to donate. Anyone who's connected tonight, we will send you an email and you can donate. So there might be some anonymous donations and some private donations if you want to. And uh, I'm sure I know there are anonymous people out there uh, who will donate a little bit more. The $13,884 is just what we've collected tonight in pledges. So thank you very much. I'm going to close it there. We've got 166 people in the audience. It's great to see you donating. We're going to close off for Leadership Great South Coast. Well done, guys. I'm going to close it there. $13,884. Well done. Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to move on now. I'm going to go to round two. Okay, now Penelope Becker, uh, another twenty dollars from to take it take it up to thirteen thousand nine hundred. Okay, Penelope, we've put that onto Leadership Great South Coast, but uh, that's well done. Just snuck that in the last second. We're now going to close off for Leadership Great South Coast. I'm now going to open up for United Way. Uh, sorry, for AWA 
I'm going to get that right. I'm very, very sorry. The Rotary Club of Portland, of course it is, beat Cycle of a Hope Project. Yep, thanks, Penelope. We got that. And great work to Troy. Isn't that a fantastic effort, guys? We're moving on now to you beat Cycle for Hope and the Portland Rotary Base Club, the Club of Portland, and uh, for Beat Cycle for Hope. So all your pledges now. Round two, Beat Cycle for Hope. Is there anyone out there who wants to uh, donate for round two? Anyone else can start us off for round two. Who wants to be first? Okay, we've got $100 from Peter and Sharon Hayman. Incredibly generous. Thank you very much. Flash and Helen Welfare from Halliday's Butcher, $50. Thank you very, very much. Nikki Edwards uh, helping us out. In, and is, hasn't the Edwards family been very generous? $50. Thank you very much. Sharon Atkinson, uh, $30 from Sharon. Well done. Marg Wagner, $100. Fantastic. The Powerhouse production team. Blake Corbett has just let us know, the Powerhouse production team. Oh boy, don't they do some fantastic stuff in the community. Have you seen their videos? Look them up on the internet. $100. Thanks from Powerhouse. Catherine Walder again. Gee, you've got, uh, you've been great, Chef. Kath Walder, $20 from the Walder family. And Nicole Carr. Hey, isn't this a great donation? Malcolm Sharp from Sharp Airlines. Isn't that great? $500. That is so nice. That is so nice. Fantastic, guys. Thank you very much for your support there. Pippa, $50. Well done, Pippa. Nice to see that. Chantel Dart, $20. Garvey Downs, $100. And Adele, Shannon and Adele, $30 from the Curran family. Thank you very, very much. Great stuff, guys. Keep going in. Jen Risk uh, has donated another $50. Thanks, Jen. That's very, very nice. Lindy Birch, $50. Lindy, Marcus, and Sienna, very, very nice. Thanks, guys. Thanks for helping us out. I know you're pretty passionate about this project. Uh, we're up to $12,930. How far can we go? We've got a bit of white space up on the screen. Let's see if we can fill it up. Adrian and Sister, the Pitts family have just donated $100. Fantastic, guys. Something happened there. We're up to $12,930. Now, Mary Irwin's put a challenge out. I will match Lily and Mackenzie, 12 and 3-year-old pocket money of $50. So I think that's a, is that 100? That's a match, is it? I'm not sure how we're going to match that. You've matched someone else's bid. So maybe we can get Lily and Mackenzie. Um, maybe we can get them to donate. Maybe we can get, if you're matching Mary. Um, but thank you very much. I think that's a $50. Les Horovich, thank you very much. $50 from Michelle and Les. Thanks, guys. Very, very supportive, very, very good. Remember what this project is all about, guys, and, and why it's so important. This is uh, Beat Cycle by Hope. And uh, remember Paul you know, remember Paul Beattie. Um, I'm going to get a bit emotional when I talk about Paul, but uh, um, remember there's such a good project that we're supporting people in, in, in some of their hardest times when they're going through cancer. It's, this is a really good project. And I know when people have received random act of kindness, they really appreciate they, when they receive those random act of kindness and know that people in the community care about them. It's just so nice to receive those um, random act of kindness. Thanks, Nicole, letting us know Yumba Agriculture have just donated $500. Thanks to Tim and Amber Raj. Thanks, guys. Very, very generous. And, uh, oh, there's a big one I've just missed, that um, United Way Glenelg have donated $1,000, which has taken us up to 14000 Wow, that's great, $14,550. Fantastic, guys. Remembering that AWA Alliance Bank also matched the first $4,000, so fantastic. Fraser and Campbell Reefman, $150. Thanks, Fraser and Campbell. Lily McKenzie put their pocket money in for my sister. Okay, thank you very much for that, clarifying that. Very, very good. How are we going, guys? We're up to $14,680. Do you think we can get to 15? Can we put a 15 on the front? Let's get it to 15. I th I'm agreeing. Let's see if we can. We've got one, one more minute. I'm going to keep this open for one minute. Can we get to 15? Is there anyone else out there who can help us out? Is there anyone? $14,680. Remember, this is a great project. 
<laughs> Can we get it to 15? Oh, great. And then Nicole Carr just let us know that Pretty on Palmer have donated two nights accommodation to Beat Cycle for Hope. That's fantastic. Um, and Michelle Kearney's just saying, hey, are there any Bayview students out there? <laughs> $50 from Bayview College again. Thank you very, very much. That was from Emily Fife. Thanks, Emily. So maybe, Michelle, maybe you need to match that one. Catherine Shep Walder, $50 from Nanny and Poppy Shep. That's so nice. Really, really nice. Thanks, Shep. Kylie McCallop, uh, uh, Carly McCallop uh, from Bayview, $25. And Michelle Kenny is saying matched. I think there were two, Michelle, that you need to match there. Hey, Frank Farnsworth is just saying that Cassie Austin and Joe Austin uh, from Seals by Sea, Cape Bridgewater, have donated that $130 value Seal by Sea voucher, I think that is. So that's really, really nice. Fantastic. Thanks, Kaz. Really appreciate that. That's so nice. We're up to $14,820. If we get $120 more, now Michelle's just told them that she has matched each of those Bayview College students. So thanks, Michelle. Are there any other students out there who want to donate? If we get $120 more, we'll crack $15,000. Uh, is there anyone there? Is there anyone there? Can we donate? We only need 120. Michael Carr. You're a, you're, a, you're a great play. You have great timing. $120 from Michael and Carly, which I believe may top us over the 15. Wow. But yeah, that's amazing. That's incredibly emotional. $15,000. That is absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Mika. Thanks, Carly. That's fantastic. Are there any more donations out there? I'm going to close this off. This is your last chance. $15,000. Nice round number, and that's so exciting. How good is this? How good is this community? Fantastic. All right, I'm going to close it off. I'm going to close it off. All right, well, good. We'll close it there. Fantastic, guys. $15,000. That's $4,000 from AWA Alliance Bank and people in this community, in this shire and surrounding, and everyone who's joined us tonight, 166 people. Yeah, how great. Um, have donated 11000 for a total of $15,000. I'll tell you what, you are going to make a huge dip. That You're making a difference in people's lives. You're really going to make a difference and people are going to feel so good. Yeah, Bailey, uh, nice, very, very nice. I agree with that. Thanks, Bailey. Okay. Yeah, and I think um, I will mention again, I think uh, the memory of Paul Beatty, um, fantastic, fantastic. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to close off the beat cycle for hope. We're going to close it there. And so we're going to start bids now. It's round two. Yeah, well done, Sharon Clark. Nice to see you out there. Well done, everyone. We're going to open up the bidding for round two for AWA Alliance Bank. Now, remember Harley and how what he spoke about and how amazing his project is. Yep, Karen, thank you very, very much for that comment. Um, yeah, Paul would be so proud. Okay, we're opening up for AWA Alliance. I was going to hit you up, Flash, and you beat me to it. So Helen Welfare, Halliday's will donate $100 worth of barbecue meat towards the opening barbecue. I think I want to be there for that, that opening barbecue. It should be pretty good. Thanks, Flash. Thanks, Helen. Very, very nice from Halliday's uh, butcher shop there in the main street. Uh, they do a great job. Look, they, they support a lot of community events. They're really, really good. Marg Wagner, $100 from me. Uh, for my new neighbours. Yeah, well done. Nikki Edwards, the Edwards family. I uh, hope the family's going really well, Nikki. Uh, $50, fantastic. We're up to $12,380. You can see the three bars. Wouldn't it be nice to get this up and a bit closer, a bit matcher? United Way Glenelg have just chimed in. United Way Glenelg have just donated $1,000. Fantastic, guys. Thank you very, very much. Garvey Downs, that's a really nice one, $150. Thank you very much. Uh, and Powerhouse Production, these guys are incredibly donated. How good are these guys? They've just donated $100. Thanks, Blake. Really appreciate that. Di Birch, yeah, geez, it's nice to see you out there. Di and Graham Birch, what? Hang on. You've, how many zeros in that? That's $1,000. Thank you. Wow. Graham, Di and Graham Birch, that's incredibly generous. 
thank you so much. One thousand dollars. A total's gone to thirteen thousand. No, it's gone to fourteen thousand six hundred and thirty dollars. I'll tell you what, this is a great project. Anne Kirkham, thanks, Anne. One hundred dollars from Anne. If we can get another three hundred and seventy dollars, we can take this one to fifteen. Wow. Peter and Sharon Heyman, one hundred dollars. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, Sharon. Fantastic. Sharon Atkinson, $30 from me. Helen Wehfair, Ned, let's clap them on. Plenty more claps for everyone. Let's get them on. And Pippa's just saying, uh, for, for Harvey, another $100. Such, and it is such a great cause. Um, yeah, fantastic. Um, Linda Smith, My Place Portland Project. Uh, Sandra Free, oh, wow, hang on, $1. $1,000. So that was from Sandra Free. Thank you, Sandra. Very, very nice. Thanks for letting us know about that, Linda. That's really nice. Uh, we've just had Adele and Shannon Curran give us $30. Thanks, guys. Really nice, really nice. And Bev McElroy, how, there's no limit to her generosity. Gee, she's a great person. $100 from Bev. That's so nice, Bev. Fantastic. Wow, guys, this is great. We're up to $16,090. It is going to make a huge difference in people's lives. Going really well. I'm going, we've got a couple of minutes left to close this off. Round two will close very soon. Are there any more donations, any more pledges out there? Okay. Campbell and Fraser Reefman, $150. Thanks, Campbell. Very nice. Very, very nice. $16,240. That's really, really good. Going well, guys. Remember, you will also receive an email tomorrow with uh, how we can get the funds immediately to the organisations. Okay, looks like the pledges are drying up now. What an effort. What a fantastic effort. Shelley Burke, $100 from David and Heather Morton. Thank you very, very much. We're up to $16,240. Incredible effort. Yeah, Michelle Kenny, throwing the, throwing the gauntlet down, throwing the gloves down. Asking for the students, have you got any more pledges from Bayview College? Are there any more students out there? Because this is a great project. Great to see people giving where you live. Remember, all donations are tax deductible. Great to see the Nash family. Hey, Vic Nash, thanks very much. Nash family have just donated $200. Thanks, guys. Great to see you out there. Thank you very, very much. $16,540. And Carolyn Shepherd's just saying we better get Troy's project to $15,000 now too. Um, we'll have that chance with emails. <laughs> We've got $50 from uh, Dunners and Bambi. So <laughs> thank you very, very much. Six. No, I've got, sorry, what's that? Oh, I've missed that, sorry. Uh, oh, I've missed one, sorry. Yeah, Shelley Burke, thank you. $300 from Tirandara Lime. Hey, great. Tirandara Lime, great to see businesses supporting this fantastic project. Thanks, guys. Really, really nice. Tirandara Lime kicking in and supporting this. Fantastic. And uh, Angela McFeeters, William Chow's just donated $20. Thank you very much, Will. Very, very nice. $16,940. I think we're drawing up now. Fantastic job. Are there any more? All going well? I'm going to close it very soon. If there's no more pledges, we'll close it there and we'll move on. I'm really looking forward to getting the speakers out and surprising them, telling them I think they're, in, they're all in for a shot. Nice little time for me to take a drink. Okay. I'm going to close it there. Guys, fantastic effort. Fantastic effort. We're going to close it there. AW Alliance Bank have donated $4,000 to each of the projects, $12,000 in total. How incredible is that? And we've closed all the pledges. But remember, we may have some uh, extra donations coming through. Um, Michelle Kearney, the last bid up on the screen was $100 on behalf of Baby. Thanks, Michelle. Incredibly generous. Well done. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Thanks, guys. That's incredible. Um, just fantastic. Remember that um, we will be accepting donations of pro bono or other support, um, and we will be... Uh, oh, I can talk about some of those things right now. Um, we're going to invite the presenters back uh, one at a time to share the final results with them. 
Um, but while we're waiting for them, there are so many other ways that you can support grassroots nonprofit beyond funding, including pro bono and in-kind support. For example, I know we did touch on a couple of these things, but leadership, Great South Coast, um, Troy mentioned we're going to have a digital story documenting the tower process, and that's going to be a great inspiration and inspiring younger leaders. Um, so we've got those in-kind support for, for, uh, for the project as well. We've got the promotion of the community consultations and projects through networks and social media. And Troy, we're going to need like all of those things. And I've got a little... Yeah, that's there. right. Um, and also, uh, Troy... Of in kind support from Middle Smoking Wall and um, Eco coming through. And uh, also, we'll, we'll certainly need lots of help for facility high for our project and launch in Hayward Troy. So, there's lots of ways people can help as well. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Thanks, Troy. Okay. So, Troy, um, what um, when you came in tonight and you prepared your speech and you put your heart out in the soul and you're so courageous. What, what were you expecting tonight? What do you think would have been a good result, Troy? What were you expecting? Uh, in terms of the pledges, I think we're aiming for about the six or $7,000 mark. Uh, obviously, we mentioned the smoking bowl, so a bit of assistance with that. It's one of the important features we've got for our project. So, yeah. Yeah. So um, I hope we're not going to disappoint you, Troy. Um, we didn't get $6,000, Troy, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see the screen, Troy. We got 13904 dollars Troy. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Thirteen thousand nine hundred. You're expecting six. We got thirteen. What an incredible effort we have! We have doubled our expectations. Um, Troy, you've inspired people tonight with your the honesty, the truth. This is an incredible story. I think not just visually how good it will look, but also the story behind it. Um, it's just a fantastic story. And uh, mate, your, your leadership, your you're, you're going to inspire people with what you're doing tonight, Troy. It's um, fantastic. Is there anything you'd like to say, Troy? Uh, yeah, there is. Um, firstly, just blown away by that amount. Um, it's going to do a lot of good for us. Um, just like to thank United Way Glenelg, the AWA Alliance Bank, uh, the guys at Powerhouse Productions, uh, Leadership Great South Coast, um, as well as my team, my um, project team at Leadership Great South Coast. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in and supporting um, through this pitch process. And uh, most importantly, everyone who's um, um, helped pledge tonight and who's donated and helped make our vision a reality. Thanks again. <laughs> Fantastic, Troy. Well done, mate. That's an incredible result. I'm really looking forward to seeing that grow up and all. I think uh, that's going to go a long way to making the project happen a reality. It's uh, nice to see that people share your passion, mate, and share your dream. Thanks, mate. Well done. No worries. Thanks, Neil. See you later. That's really nice. That is so nice. He's uh, really put his heart on the line. It's really, really good. Okay. We're going to invite Joe and Mandy back out to the screen. This is nice. See, this is a good part of the night. I just love doing this, the reveals. It is really, really nice. While they're waiting us to join, um, so I just want to remind you, so tomorrow you will receive an email when you're registered with your email address. Uh, you'll get a link on how you can pay. Just remember, every cent that you pledge, every uh, every dollar that you donate tonight, 100% goes straight to the organisations. So there's no, uh, you know, it's not 90%, it's not 80%, it's not 60% like some, some organisations, 100% goes into the community where you live. So give where you live is uh, is the story. And isn't it a great way to say to the tax man, this is where we want our dollars spent. We want it spent locally. We're going to make a difference to our own community. So it's uh, it's, it's really, really, really nice. Um, just quickly, while we're waiting for Mandy and Joe to join us uh, from Beat Cycle of a Hope, just remember that uh, there are other ways you can support the project as well. We are looking for, when we send the emails out tomorrow, let us know if you're willing to or you can donate in any other ways. 
we do need donor people to donate their time. Um, we need um, donations for the trivia night, and we will run the trivia night again uh, when the restrictions lift. Um, we need anything from coffee vouchers, car service vouchers, joy flights, uh, anything like that would really help. Uh, we definitely need help with website and social media support and management. We definitely need that help to promote the project. And what's really good is um, we would certainly, the Beat Cycle of a Hope team would certainly like to um, be able to provide accommodation for people going through cancer for their families. So if there's anyone out there who donate, you know, one or two nights accommodation for family respite, that would be fantastic. Okay. Hi, Jo. Hi, Mandy. How are you? Hi. Are you, hi. Are you a bit nervous? Absolutely. But a bit excited yeah. too. Yeah. Um, so when you when you came here tonight, uh, what, what were you expecting? What were your thoughts? Look, just to be able to keep the funds going through the programs that we have, because uh, you know at times we really struggle to actually make each year connect. And Joe's like, "Have you got any more money? You know, can we have more vouchers?" And you know, at times we've had to say, "No, can you ease back? We're waiting. You know, till we have the trivia night or whatever." So. Look, if we could just get through a year um, and not struggle quite so much and just comfortably know that we could do that, that would be absolutely wonderful because it's... Uh, and then also gives us the opportunity to do more with the funds for families as well. And also just to put a bit a bit of a, you know, plug yeah. out there for Beat Cycle for Hope. So lots of people, you know, yeah. get to know what an amazing legacy that Paul's left behind. Mm. Yeah, and I think just talking about the project is also Paul's dream to encourage people to live fit, active lives too. So... Uh, it's nice to talk about the project. So, oh, look, look. even if we didn't meet your financial expectations, what was your financial expectation, can I ask? We're expecting... Look, um, look. if we could, as I said, like if we could get through that, you know, which was around probably 10,000, you know, that we'd use for the year, but that's, you know, stretching it. So if we were sort of, you know, I mean, we're, we've only got two grand this year, so, like, anything's going to be absolutely more than $2,000. So please, yeah, it would be great. So, look, I think we can go... I think we can, um, I can certainly say that we have uh, helped you out some of the way. Um, so, look, we, we didn't quite get to that $10,000 mark. Um, we got over that mark and very, <laughs> I'm going to be emotional here. Mandy Jo, I'm really, really proud to say that the Shire where we live have supported you. <laughs> I don't want you to cry because I'm... Um, I think I will, I'll do that for you. We have donated and raised tonight, just tonight, yep. $15,000. Yeah. Yep. Unreal. That is Thank so you good. so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So proud to still have this, you know, running. And thank you to everybody in the community. We're so proud to have that going. It's just, yeah, speechless. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really exciting. It is exciting. It's pretty emotional too to think that uh, yeah, there's a lot of people out there supporting this effort. I think there's a lot of people being touched by cancer and uh, keeping mm -hmm. Paul's alive. So, is going there anyone? Back, going back to our earlier figures, that means that we actually can yeah. support every single person diagnosed in our region with a Beat Cycle for Hope voucher. Mm. Yeah, a random act of kindness. And I'll tell you yeah. what, it does mean a lot when you receive those packages. It's really, oh, really. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, is there anyone you'd like to thank specifically, Joe or Mandy? Yes, we would. Um, the AWA Alliance Bank, um, Rotary Club of Portland, because without them we couldn't have been stuck of a hope, and especially Frank for continually supporting the projects that we put up, um, and um, Powerhouse Productions too, of course. And I'd like to thank Portland District Health for supporting me to come along tonight. Um, I'd also like to thank United Way Glenelg for this amazing opportunity. Yeah. Um, and also to our local community for yeah. your extremely generous yeah. donations, no matter how great or mm. small. Thank you, mm. Katie. Yeah. Um, and I'd also like to thank Mandy yeah. for asking me to come along and mm. stay part of this journey. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Well done. We're very grateful. Well, yeah, what an, what an outstanding effort. And, gee, doesn't it make you proud to think that uh, the community we live, are, you know, just giving so generously and um, so, so, so fantastic. It is really, really nice. It is so great. It's amazing. Thanks, Thanks, guys. So Looking Thank forward you. to being involved and uh, giving my support where I can. So thanks, guys.
Fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Really you appreciate it. You've inspired people. You've made a difference. You're changing people's yeah. lives. Well done, guys. Thanks. Great stuff. Mm, good. Isn't that nice? Isn't that so nice? $15,000 is going to go a long way to make a lot of difference in people who are really struggling. All right. I'm really looking forward to this reveal. Okay. We're going to welcome uh, Harley back to the stage. And, uh, and just while Harley's um, coming out, remember the, uh, the way he spoke and uh, uh, things. And just quickly, I will, again, welcome our major sponsors, AWA Alliance Bank, Powerhouse Productions, and thanks to the team again to United Way, Glenelg. The board, remember, the voluntary board, they do a power of work behind the scenes. So, and I just cannot, uh, of course, thank Nicole Carr enough and the work that she does. She's been uh, doing work in our community for so many years and she does an incredible job. It is, it is so, so very, very nice. Again, check out the uh, videos on YouTube. If you want to look at uh, this video story, look up YouTube, United Way Glenelg. Uh, the, the videos were made from Powerhouse Productions and then, uh, you can see what a great job they do. Um, um, I'm struggling with following your points now. Um, so look, keep the... Um, Remember the uh, email donations. Um, the quicker you can pay tomorrow, we're hoping you can pay within the next, uh, as soon as you get that email, within the next 24, 48 hours would be good if you can get the funds. We just want to get the funds to the organisations as quickly as possible. So uh, if you can um, make your donations, it's really, really nice. Great to see some comments coming through from Angela McFeed who's sending, and so, I think that's supposed to be hugs and not hogs, uh, your way, Mandy. Thanks very much. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, Bailey, there, another nice comment from Bailey. Congratulations, Mum and Joe. Yeah, uh, boy, get me emotional. Dad would be so proud. Thanks, Bailey. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm sure we're just setting up for Harley to come in, uh, and we'll. I'm really looking forward to this little reel. Um, he spoke just very briefly about his experience. Um, he's certainly someone who certainly knows what it's like to go through life with some difficult things. Okay. So Harley is ready to go. As soon as we're ready, we'll bring him on the screen and we'll bring him to the stage. <laughs> and Julie's just saying nothing wrong with hogs. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Julie. Very, very nice. It is, uh, has been an incredible night, an incredibly emotional night. We've got one more reveal to go when we bring Harley out, and I can't wait for him to join the screen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We've got a comment here, so please, um, by all means, use the chat box. Um, great work, United Way, Powerhouse Productions, all involved in making this such a wonderful night, um, and how, it is, how good it, it, our, our local community has been. Thank you so much. Remember, you also have lots of opportunities to donate and uh, through pro, pro bono and in-kind support. And I'll just read out a couple of the Kyoma support. Um, the Kyoma support are also looking for help. I've lost my little sheet. Uh, I'm just looking for that one. Uh, Kyoma support services um, are looking for help with uh, construction materials. They're looking for help for, with labour. So if you've got any uh, possible thing, ways you can help, that would be very, very good for in-kind pro bono support. They certainly need lots of, uh, lots of help and lots of assistance there. Um, some of the things, um, they will need timber for the gazebo. Uh, they definitely need a barbecue. We can't have uh, you know, Flash's meat and uh, Helen Welfare's meat from Halliday's Butchers. Going, uh, going to waste, so we need a barbecue to cook it on. We need materials and labour for the gazebo roof as well. So um, any, anyone who can help with uh, the building and construction, if there are any, any tradies out there, um, we certainly need your help as well. Because remember uh, Troy spoke about the whole project. Today we're just talking about the uh, communal area where they can have the barbecue area, the gazebo and the paving, but remembering that the, the, the project does need some more funds and, of course, um, Harley spoke about other houses and other projects too. So we're still waiting for Harley to join us. Uh, to, I'm sure he's not far away. But hopefully, I've just got a message here uh, that they have dropped out. Okay. Yep. 
we may need to bring Harley to my camera and that will be okay. So I think Harley's going to join me. I'm just going to uh, set this up. Guys, just gives we've got a, a little technical difficulty here going on. Harley's going to come in and join me and then we'll set this up. So I'm just going to have to move my camera and we're going to get Harley on the screen. I'll switch. I'll turn this on my little camera around and we'll have Harley on the screen. This is um, at, on the fly, ad lib. Yeah, I'll spin the camera around. We'll wait till we get to you. He's not here. Okay, Harley's coming. He's, he's on his way. I am in a separate area to where Harley is. This is uh, on the fly. So you, we, you would not believe we practiced and we practiced. We had three practice runs on this evening and all went really well. Last night, everything went really smooth and every well. And tonight we've had a couple of little uh, gremlins. Isn't it, isn't it the way I am going to... We're just not far away, guys. Not Please stay with me. We've got 171 people out there. Please stay with us. We're not going to be far away. Yeah, thanks, Troy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. So Harley's coming in to join us. And I'm just going to spin that camera around that way and uh, we'll join him up. Yep, right. Yeah. I've got a team of people. You can't see the team of people who are supporting me, but I've got a, a team of people here. I might just, uh, I'm just going to spin that camera around now. Yep. And I'm going to slip the mask on. Hi, great to see you in person. Yes, it is. <laughs> Harley, so hopefully you can uh, you can hear me. I hope everyone can hear Harley as well. I'm just going to set this mic up as well, and we try and share this mic. Yep. We're uh, on the fly. So, Harley, mate, you spoke really, really well. I'm really pleased to say we've had a lot of support from the community. Harley, what were you, what were you expecting? Oh, honestly, I think eight thousand dollars. You know, would have, would be able to put in a pretty big, huge dent in the overall um, projects, like the small barbecue and gazebo area. I think we, yeah, I think with that, we'd definitely be able to get it paid to get it um, all set up, and before you know it, we'd be able to have barbecues and stuff like that. So I reckon eight thousand dollars would have been pretty good. Yeah. Okay. What if I said it was only four thousand dollars? Would that would be okay? You'd be. Happy. Oh, I'm sure we we still find a way. But yeah, if it was if it was four, we'd, I'm sure there'd be heaps and heaps. Uh, I'd, I'd get to a point where I'd even call me mates from Geelong to come down and help to do all the little bits and pieces. So yeah, I'm sure it'd be. And if I said it was a little more than that, you'd be happy. Yeah, that'd be. I'd be very happy with that. Then we'd be able to actually, um, yeah, more so start thinking about heaps of other things. But yeah, mainly mainly at this point, if it was eight, it'd be pretty pretty good. Hey Troy, what, I'm sorry, Haley, Harley, what would, what would you say if I told you we've just smashed all of your expectations tonight? Oh, well, if it was like that, then yeah, there's no no limit to what we what we could do, you know, if we if we if it was um, say nine or ten or something like that, we could um yeah, we could, you know, organise all the lighting around the gazebo and nine stuff or, like nine that. Nine or ten would be a fair bit, yeah. wouldn't it? Nine or ten would be a fair bit. Yeah, it would be. Oh, geez, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm dragging this out, aren't I? I know I'm keeping you in suspense. All right, I'll let you know what it is. Cara, I'm not sure if you're able to bring it up on screen. Harley, $17,000. Oh, really? $17,000. Oh, my God. And $10. Oh. The people in the Shire believed your speech so much. Oh. Harley. Harley. They've donated oh. 17 in one night. The, the Shire, the people online, 171 people online, Harley, oh. have donated. My God. And the businesses and the organisations like AWA Alliance Bank, oh. Powerhouse Productions and many more have donated $17,000 to your project. That is just, I got that right. yeah, blown well and truly out of the water. Definitely was uh, was not expecting that. <laughs> was there anyone uh, you'd like to uh, like to thank? Yeah, um, first off, I'd like to thank um, AWA Alliance Bank, um, Powerhouse, 
you know, I'm sorry, I'm still speechless. United Way Glenelg, um, Kyama Support Services, and, you know, obviously to everyone, whether you're at home, um, you know, in your car, at work, I, I myself organised a lot of people to, to watch who were actually at work and trying to, um, were trying to watch in their, in their breaks at work. And, um, yeah, all my family and friends and everyone who was, who's donated and pledged tonight, um, yeah, it's just an absolutely unbelievable amount and there there is just a long, long list of things that we can do uh, with that sort of money. You know, now we can think about adding in extra seats and, um, yeah, more lighting. We could even build it a bit bigger now if we wanted to, you know, something like that. But, yeah, thank you so much to everyone who has donated and hopefully after everything's built and stuff, we'll be able to have photos on um, our Facebook page and that's where you can everyone will be able to actually see what they've donated to. Um, and, yeah, now it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be – it could be bigger, better, and, yeah, just the list goes on of things that <laughs> we could um, – so as I said, there's very few times in my life where I've been lost for words, but that's definitely one of them. It's yeah. There's now we can, we can start thinking just bigger and bigger, and yeah, we'll see see what happens. There's no talent at this point. Harley, just um, really well done. Mate. Your um, your speech was great, and um, you've inspired a lot of people to to give generously. So yeah, thanks, Harley. You've done just just Thank fantastic. You. Thank you. It's, uh, it has been. An absolute honour of meeting you uh, yesterday and, uh, mate, you're changing people's lives. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Harley just said something to me and he's, uh, he's pretty happy about that uh, that result, guys. So thank you, Bear. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, what a magnificent result, guys. I'm going to get Cara to bring it up on screen, all three of our, uh, of our amounts now. Uh, thanks, thanks. Thank you very, very much. I'm getting lots of help here, which is so very, very, very nice. Um, thanks, guys. Um, what a fantastic result. Cara, can we please bring up the three results on the screen? Um, wow, what an effort. Guys, I think you've probably exceeded everyone's expectations. Um, tonight, we have raised 45000 $914, $45,914. Wow. You know, I don't think we are the largest community, the largest show. We may be small in population, but, boy, are we big in heart. Do we know where to give and do we know how to uh, really help and support people who really put their hearts out there and their passion out there? It is so nice, guys. It is really, really nice to see everyone supporting and giving in your show and your community giving where you live. Thank you very much. So the amounts are there. Guys, remember, you'll still receive an email with directions of pay. Remember, please um, submit your uh, funds and pay where you, as soon as you can so we can get the money to those people. And you will receive some updates from, from the coal car and the United Way Glenelg team throughout the year. So uh, you'll, you'll know what the project's are going and how they're progressing. So, yeah. Uh, look for those updates as well. Thank you so much to our wonderful presenters. Thanks to Troy, Mandy, Joe and Harley um, for giving her their time and, and it, geez, it takes courage to stand up and do that. That is fantastic. And finally, thank you to you, your audience, for your collective generosity. Uh, it's a wonderful thing that we've just done tonight and how good is it you knowing that uh, you have made a difference and you're going to change people's lives. Thanks to AWA Alliance Bank Powerhouse Productions and the team at United Way Glenelg who do a fantastic job. Um, thanks, guys. We're going to close it off there. What a great night. Thank you so very much. Thank you for changing people's lives. Good night. Stay safe. Stay well. Thanks for joining us tonight. See you later. Bye-bye.